what's up guys zach with slr here i know i've been slacking on youtube lately um and i've been consistently getting followers ever since uh the last video i posted which was i think after thanksgiving right around thanksgiving so hope everybody enjoyed their holidays and all that and all that good stuff here we are uh, third week of january and uh we hit the ground running uh in the new year so um we're on a new job today the canterbury project is what we're going to call it let's check it out Okay, this is the Canterbury project. It's in a neighborhood here in Daffy. Uh, we've got some pavers going on here. We've got some new plant install. Uh, I'm about to check see if they have irrigation here. I'm not 100% sure. We might be installing that too. Uh, so, give you guys a little rundown. We're about to uh, get rid of all this area right here between the house and the sidewalk. It's all going to become new bed. Um, you can see a lot of this stuff's overgrown. Those clairs and then the little pelums in the back. Just basic plants that are overgrown. These landscape pavers or uh, blocks, we're gonna do away with all that stuff. We're gonna get all the river rock out <clears throat> and we're gonna take care of that stuff over there. The grass in this yard seems to be in pretty good shape, so we're not gonna mess with any of that. Um, we are gonna do a little bit of patching of St. Aug in the back because that's what they've got going on. Uh, and after I give you guys the rundown on the demo, uh, I'll put a picture of the design up and we'll, we'll walk through it. Rick spends a lot of time, it looks awesome. So the backyard here, get the gate open. Uh, backyard, pretty decent sized backyard. Um, we're gonna get rid of all the old plants just like the front. Um, the swing sets and stuff, we're going to encase these in marine grade lumber from Midway Lumber Spanish Fort. We're gonna box the swing set off, put mulch inside, we're gonna do the same thing over here, but the swing is gonna, its final foundation is on this side over here where the firewood is, but uh, we're gonna install, we're gonna call site one and get some uh, pavers delivered over here to us. I think they're coming Monday morning. Uh, it's Friday now. And so we're gonna <clears throat> start the patio right here at the corner of the existing concrete. It's gonna kind of curve around and bow out to that corner. So this whole area right here is gonna be a new patio. Um, so the customers should come outside and enjoy everything. They got a screened in porch, but you know, being outside of that and out in the sun is is also good for patio um i believe there's a fire pit going on uh in it as well so when it comes time to that the start construction of that we'll get you guys fired up and uh get going on that we're going to patch there's some there's some pavers over there um where the grill is we're going to rip all them up they're old and then we're going to patch some new saint all through this area here so it's uh it's raining here this morning. Well, it is a little bit. I think we're supposed to get a little bit more before lunch and then we're gonna clear out. So um, we'll get the demo fired up and uh, you can watch us run our little MT-85, which is a lifesaver. I don't even know. We don't use wheelbarrows anymore. That thing's so awesome. So um, stay tuned. Uh, let me pop up the design and, and run that through you guys. All right, guys, this is one of uh, Rick's designs for the Canterbury project. He puts a lot of time and effort into them and so I believe that the customers look at it the same way that you know if Rick puts in a lot of time and effort in the designs and hand draws them all then uh, they know that him and then myself and my team will uh, put in the same amount of effort on getting the project exactly the way the the design displays so I think it's a great aspect that us at SLR have here on our side is Rick puts in a lot of time and his creativity into uh drawing exactly what the project's going to look like versus just throwing a uh, electronically, um, I guess, a CAD design up there and and just submitting it to them. So the front yard, you could tell, is where the driveway and the sidewalk come around the front of the yard there. And uh, we've got some several different plantings uh, in that area. Um, some, some basic plants. Um, we're also going to install weed barrier in the in the flower beds as well just as weed control because as time goes on um, you know weeds and stuff will grow around the plants and stuff like that and it's it's uh creates a hassle for maintenance especially if you're especially if you're not home and you're wanting low maintenance uh landscape if you look in the backyard which is where the uh, flagstone is drawn out that little half circle area to the left 
is the patio and we're going to bring in some Belgard Lafit pavers I would assume they're probably going to be the Avondale color which is a lot of tan and so once we get that installed we'll put the border on it and all that good stuff and uh, I'll show you guys how we cut and uh, make the measurements to put the cut the border pieces in around it and then you got the swing in the playground back there that's we're gonna um, encase with the marine grade lumber from from Midway and then we're gonna put some type of mulch in there probably pine bark or something soft so the kids don't uh, get scraped up too bad when they when they play and then uh, this uh, gray square <clears throat> to the left of the design it's gonna be a, a rock parking area for their boat and they got a little bay boat that they like to park in the backyard so we're going to give them a spot where they can sit and not have to worry about killing the grass and all that good stuff so uh stay tuned guys all right guys we got the demo started i've already taken out uh a lot of stuff the clay areas that were on each corner give me a hard time mt85 is a great machine and i wish Bob bobcat has since changed his design on the new mt100 they've come out with uh but they but you can't uh you can't get them right now you can but it's a long wait list but anyways we can't get one right now um but these wheels right here and these rollers um you're supposed to grease them and i keep them greased uh liberally i mean i you know i love keeping things greased it doesn't make noise it makes everything last longer it keeps the pins and bushings tight up in the bucket system up there but these suckers here man super design fly on bobcat spark back in the day um they've used this design for years but like i said they've since changed it but man it's so loud i i didn't even want to turn the camera on a minute ago because i had to have this machine running it's so loud so uh it's crazy but see like these the back ones right here are always the first ones to go and the grease fittings come out because they start hitting in here and they start hitting right here so like, there's part of the bushing that's come out uh it's only got about 350 hours on it um <clears throat> so you got to keep them greased but uh let's get her lubed up all right guys this is what we get for trying to work in the rain normally we just call it a day but this job was up on a hill so i knew it wasn't going to hold water and uh you know we're going to try to get a good friday's uh worth of accomplishment in the job today last few plants we try to dig out the machine sinks and up against the wall so these are all getting washed anyway so we're going to try our best see if we can't turn them all back straight up without hitting the wall so uh We'll see how it goes. We'll see how she goes. Mo's gonna be the cameraman. Okay. Plan B's probably gonna be unhook a trailer and bring a truck in here. <laughs> Try to pull it out sideways or something. Good thing we got a big open backyard. I don't know what we're going to do. But it won't. Oh, maybe. It's getting up on it. It's just going to push you toward the wall. Yeah, I don't think she's going to go by. Well, we found the soft spot in the yard. Yeah, she's sitting on the frame now, boys. <laughs> He's dragging belly. Okay, let's go unhook it. Let's go unhook a truck. Okay, got some good news. No need for a rescue mission. Oh, uh, uh, Lukey, he used his brain and shoved a bunch of them pavers down in there and then walked right on out. <clears throat> let's keep working. All right, guys, we made one heck of a mess, but we got it cleaned up now. All the demo is done. So, rain's out of here. I don't think we're supposed to get any more this weekend. So we're going to get back here on Monday. Hopefully it dries up. The dirt's not got a whole lot of clay in it. It's kind of topsoily. And so it dries up. We'll be pretty good. But uh, got everything demo. The patio's going here. Like I said earlier, we got all these old pavers out. We're going to, a lot of this is just weeds and stuff. So we're going to resod a lot of this around the front. Just so when they walk out across the yard, they got nice new grass to step on. So all the pavers are gone. We're just gonna bring in some topsoil here, regrade and put sod back. No need for any, uh, not gonna put pavers back there. <clears throat> so Monday, we'll get you guys uh, fired up. Hopefully it'll be a lot drier and uh, we had to get at it. So 
Hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Thanks, guys.